Hey guys, I'm Firdasi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, on my YouTube channel, I usually make educational videos, but this video is going to be a little different because I want to talk about my dental or oral health and why you should take your oral health very seriously. First, let me show you my teeth. I have tartars on all of my teeth. Now, my teeth are wiggly or loosening, you know, they move. And in about two or three months, I could, or maybe five months, I could lose all, all of them. Now, this video has about seven sections. I put here and on the, on YouTube, at the bottom of the video, you can see timestamp or timetable. So you can navigate through which part you want and watch it from there. Now it all started when I was 16. On, on my bottom jaw, these four teeth, behind them, my gun started falling or gun, gun recession started. Back then, when I was 16, I, I had completely normal uh, white, completely white teeth without any tartars. I have gum disease. And my dad took me to the dentist and all they did was inject something into my gums and it literally burns your brain. That was the treatment. It obviously didn't work. It didn't wor work for many reasons. Now back then I was in my own country Today I'm in this situation because I'm I'm living abroad and living abroad made it impossible for me to you know to make to have a regular job to meet my basic needs like food water I mean you can drink water even outside shelter food and showering. So I, I I have been homeless. I had been homeless like for months. And when you're homeless you don't usually you know your dental health, your oral health isn't your top priority. And there are things that I didn't know. So that was my that was basically introduction to my story and how it all started. Now I'm 32. It's been 16 years since I am dealing with, with my teeth, dealing with that gum disease. And I'm about to lose everything, like every tooth in my mouth. Every dentist that I go to, all, all they say is, your teeth are gone. Now let's talk about tartars and plug, plug and tartars. Now it all starts with plug, you know, food particles that you eat uh, turn into tartar if you don't wash or floss properly. Wash and floss properly. So that's the thing I didn't know. I did brush my, I do brush my teeth even when I sleep outside for months. But what I didn't know was flossing. I didn't know how to brush and floss properly. That was my mistake. So when you don't br brush, floss properly, food particles uh, can turn into tartar. Tartar is something like this, and it turns even like this. Now, what is tartar? Tartar is basically food particle, uh, bacteria. It's a colony of bacteria in your mouth, on your tooth or teeth. So why is that? Why tartar is a problem? 
it's a problem because if you don't remove it, if you don't go to dentist, if you don't go to dental dental office or dental hygienist to remove this, you can do it at home by brushing and flossing. Once you get tartar, the only way to remove it is to visit a dental office or dental hygienist. And if you don't remove it, uh, tartar start us usually uh, bone loss on your jaw, both lower or upper, starts when you extract or delete a, a tooth. But it also can happen when you have tartar and don't remove it. So what the tartar do, what the bacteria do, what the bacteria does is basically go in to the root of your teeth and start eating your jawbone. Now, what your jawbone is responsible for is holding your teeth in place. Uh, now, when you don't have eno enough of bone, uh, of jawbone, your start, uh, your teeth become loosey or wiggly. So that's why it's important to take care of your teeth and especially tartar. When you have tartar, uh, you have to go to your dental hygienist or dental office and immediately remove it. Another thing is uh, gum disease. Uh, I have been to some offices, dental offices that that have you know good dentists who understand uh, who understand your gum disease without even you telling them. You know when when last year I I removed one of my tooth on the left on the left side from my lower jaw. The dentist in the government hospital, I didn't tell him anything. He just told me that you have gum disease. I know I have gum disease, but not every dentist uh, may, may know this or may notice it. Why is it important? Because if you have, if you have gum disease, if you go to the, to the dentist to remove tartar, it can come back. So you sh the technical term for someone who understands gum disease who is expert in that field is called periodontist or something. And I think you should really find a periodontist who understands everything if you have gum disease. If you don't, you can just skip this part. Anyway, uh, why dental health impacts your overall health? Besides losing your jawbone uh, and your losing your jawbone and losing your tooth if you don't remove tartar it can the bacteria can go into your uh, internal or organs like heart or even your brain that's why you should you should uh, immediately remove it i hope this video was helpful and i hope my struggles can help uh, prevent you from Losing your teeth. I see you in the next video. See you.